In this video, we discuss formative assessment, the third essential component of designing the learning experience. Formative assessment occurs throughout a unit and is generally not graded. Its purpose is to provide feedback to both the teacher and the student. Formative assessments are assessments for learning, not assessments of learning. To improve student learning, it is necessary to not only formatively assess students, but to also use the feedback from these assessments. Students will learn to analyze their own progress and set their own goals. Ultimately, they will use the feedback to reflect on and make adjustments to their learning. The power of formative assessments lies in how the teacher and the students utilize the feedback from the assessments to drive instruction. Students use the feedback to reflect on and make adjustments to their learning. Teachers use the feedback to reflect on and make adjustments to their teaching. As noted author Robin Jackson writes, it is one thing to collect feedback about student progress, but if you simply collect this feedback and never use it to adjust your instruction, then you are collecting it in vain. The data you receive from grading your assignments and assessments will give you feedback about your effectiveness of your own instruction. The key features of ongoing assessment that guides teaching and improves learning can be formal or informal and should be recorded but not necessarily factored into summative grading. It also must include feedback to the student and provides data to the teacher so that he or she can plan further instruction, provide differentiation, and deliver intervention. Ongoing formative assessments allows teachers to address issues as they come up rather than waiting until the end of the unit. These assessments occur every day as part of the instructional process. Teachers should constantly observe, question, and use other formal assessment techniques. Formative assessment is meant to have a deep impact on student learning. Though not all of them need to be recorded, teachers must at some point determine if a student has mastered the goal. This can be accomplished in a number of different ways, such as spreadsheets or paper copies can be used to track student work and document their achievements and areas that need improvement. Teachers might also use a system to indicate student proficiency with particular skills for their own use or to give feedback to the student. For example, one might use a number from 1 to 5 or checkmark system. To assist with record keeping, you can use the provided template. Over time, different methods may be adapted to fit each situation for each educator. However, any selected system needs to be accurate and capable. There are many tools and programs that can be used to capture formative assessment data on each student learning objective. However, it is important that it take place at the teacher and PLC team levels. Formative assessment is the key tool for teachers to know what is happening over time and how to assist students in the classroom.